I was told that we cannot get a constitutional amendment and we most certainly cannot get it through a convention of the states to get money out of politics. I was told that. I was told it was impossible. Impossible. Here we go. Here we go again, right? Now, uh, in Delaware, they're considering the Senate. It is uh, SCR 6. That's the name of the bill. God bless their hearts. That's Senate Concurrent Resolution 6. We need 11 votes to pass it. And what happened? Just earlier this week, and there it is, 11 yeses, 8 noes. There was two people present that did not vote either way, so you needed exactly 11. In fact, there was 10 uh, until somebody came in at the last second to make it 11. It looked like it was going to go down, but all of a sudden we went. So don't get me wrong, man. It's never easy. Like I always announce it to you after we've won. <laughs> but in the trenches, oh, there's unbelievable fighting and struggle and an effort by these great legislators that are on our side that are American heroes and by our Wolfpack team. team. But again, by the skin of our teeth, boom, down goes uh, Delaware Senate, or up goes the Delaware Senate, declaring as many other representatives have done across the country, we want free and fair elections, enough is enough. Now we still have Delaware House, so if you're in Delaware, wolf-pack.com, go immediately and volunteer. We're about to win, be part of that winning team, and we need every single person to participate because as you can see here, we're not crushing. Yes, in Hawaii, we passed one of the houses unanimously, but that's not the case in every state. Every state is different. So we barely won in the Senate, we got, now we gotta finish it. We gotta go, go to the House and win and get free and fair elections. So who are the heroes here? Senator Brian Towson. He's the guy who introduced it. Uh, he's the guy who fought for it. Let me show you Senator Towson. Absolute American hero, one of the new founding fathers, uh, as we reclaim our democracy here. And he explains why he was in favor of it. Now, first of all, uh, lots of people talking about, oh, well, it's free speech, man. Uh, Sheldon Adelson has, if he does, can't give $30 million to Newt Gingrich, well, then he doesn't have any speech. Now, that's not true at all, as Senator Townsend explains. There are restrictions, right, that, that are reasonable. He says, quote, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater. Uh, you can't yell, vote for me, at a polling place. There are reasonable time and place restrictions. So you also can't take all of your money and bribe a politician and call it speech. That is a reasonable restriction, and we're going to put it in the Constitution so there's no lack of clarity on it. Right now, the Supreme Court says, oh, I don't know. You say to tomato, I say tomato. Uh, you say obvious bribery. I write the guy a check and he does exactly what I want. I say free speech. No, 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 no. You're you're destroying our democracy with these legalized bribes. Senator Townsend gets it and, and the Delaware Senate gets it. He wrote an op-ed about it. I want to give you one more quote from him. He said, if we fail to act, our elections will increasingly be dominated by the power of a wealthy few, not the democratic voice of the people. We would no longer be the America we now strive to protect. The American people deserve a genuinely representative democracy, and the Delaware General Assembly can help us take an important step in that direction by passing SCR 6. That is exactly right. Bless his heart, a huge uh, hero here. He took a picture with the Wolfpack team too. Uh, now I love this picture because look at the age range uh, and the variety and the diversity in that picture. Uh, some of our best fighters in Delaware were really strong women. I'm going to tell you about them in a second. Also Walker there in the picture on the far right. That's the kid from New Jersey who helped pass it in his home state. He's a state leader in New Jersey. He helped pass it in the first state in Vermont. Now he's helping to pass it in Delaware. Uh, if uh, we ask for help, he gets in the car, he drives. You know that he cannot legally drink yet. I'm not saying he doesn't drink. I'm just saying he legally cannot drink. He can't drink yet. He's too young. And look at him. He's out there changing the government for the better. When everybody said it can't be done, you got this young kid going all across the country kicking ass to get a constitutional amendment. What are you doing? If he can do it, you can do it. One of the people on his team had a broken back. She was making calls from the hospital. What are you doing? Look at what happened on the Edmund Pettus Bridge when they were fighting their, for their rights. They took batons upside the head. You can't pick up a phone and make a call? You can't go down there and lobby your legislators? It's amazing they actually li listen to you. I'm going to tell you about one guy in Delaware that made a huge difference in that regard in one second. So let me read you the other American heroes, the legislators in Delaware that made all the difference. Senate Pro Tem, uh, Patricia Blevins, Senator Karen Peterson, Senator Margaret Rose Henry, Senator Nicole Poor, Senator David Sokola, Senator David Lawson, and finally, Senator Brian Bushweller. 
Uh, and I want to focus on him for one quick second here because he was the deciding vote and he made a promise that he would go in that direction if the vote was necessary. There's a politician who actually delivered on his promise. Yes, they exist. We found them. Isn't it amazing what you can do if you just try? So they said there were no honest politicians in the country. That's not true. You go to the local level and there are people who actually care about their ideology, whether they're deeply conservative, deeply liberal, or somewhere in the middle. But they care about democracy. They care about free and fair elections. And Bush Willard cared to deliver on his promise. And I want to give you a letter about that in a second from one of the people who fought here. In fact, our Delaware state leader is, is Judith Butler. She's a great character. She's a retired pharmaceutical scientist. And part of the reason she retires is like, look, I'm, I had enough, man. I want my democracy back. I'm going to spend a lot of time fighting for this. And she's a regular citizen, never a lobbyist, never in politics. As I said, pharmaceutical scientist. She jumps into the fray, makes a huge difference. Uh, the rest of our team in Delaware, Daniel Metcalf, I love the nicknames, Mike Fish Cleaner DeMaio, Zach Phillips, Dwayne Showell, Charlie Cooper, Debbie Messina, Michelle Zeb. Look at all those strong and powerful women who are helping to get it done in Delaware. And as you can tell, look, there are other people. There's uh, hundreds of volunteers, but these are our warriors. It doesn't take that many warriors to get the job done. The question is, can you be one of those warriors? Now, if you think you can, here's how you do it. You go to wolf-pack.com, you click on your state, and then you say, hey, I'm going to join the conversation, I'm going to join the Google group. It's so simple. That's it. You join the Google group in your state, and you're off and running. They tell you what to do. They tell you how to get involved. And they make the process really simple for you guys so you could be one of these warriors as well. Now, finally, I want to go back to our state leader, Judith Butler, who wrote a letter thanking Senator Bushweller, who was the deciding vote at the end, who was the person who delivered on their promise and was an honest politician. She wrote, Dear Senator Bushweller, my hair turned a little grayer yesterday as I listened from the balcony to the roll call for SCR 6 in the Senate chamber. Ten. Only 10. Oh no, not after all the work that's gone into lining up the votes. And then you stepped in to save the day. You are my hero, sir. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Remember, she retired partly to get this done, right? So when we got to 10 and we couldn't get to 11 and we were going to lose, imagine how heartbreaking it was. And then this politician who said, well, he did promise to do this. Let's see if he does it turns around at the last minute and does it. Amazing. So she's rejoicing and she wants to say to him, thank you for representing us. She continues in her letter. Consider that Senator Townsend and my two millennial adult children have known nothing but dysfunctional federal government during their adolescent and young adult lives. Most have just given up on the whole idea of a government that represents them rather than the special interests who fund these massively expensive campaigns. So thank you again. For saving the day with your heroic vote. There are true heroes all across the country. Sometimes they're legislators, sometimes uh, they're citizen warriors like you guys. Let's go find them, let's band together, let's go knock on some doors. Okay? They're not coming for us anymore, we're coming for them. Wolf-pack.com